head of the Polish mod, Marius Baszczak has signed a performance agreement on delivery of the ZSSW-30 unmanned turrets for the Rosamac wheeled APCs. DEFENC24.pl has been the first outlet to announce the planned conclusion of this agreement. This is the first performance contract associated with a framework agreement that covers the delivery of 341 turrets in total, including 70 turrets to be integrated on the Rosamac APCs between 2023 and 2027. Consortium formed by HSWSA and WB Electronics would be tasked with the delivery. The turrets would be integrated on the Rosamac vehicles that are already in service. The performance contract has a value of almost United States dollars 1.7 billion. The ZSSW-30 remote control turret system has been developed based on a development project which resulted in the development of a prototype and technical documentation. The development project has been launched in 2013, the first Spike LRATGM launches took place in 2016, while the qualification tests program came to an end in 2021. Assumptions for the development were changed during the project. Ultimately, the turret has been fitted with Polish Optoelectronics, even though the original plan was to acquire those elements from a foreign partner. The ZSSW turret integrated with the APC has been designed to neutralize light and heavy armor and other enemy assets, including the infrastructure. It also serves as a support measure in combat. The optoelectronic sensors used would make it possible to engage the targets at any time, also in adverse weather conditions. Bushmaster MK-44s is the primary armament of the ZSSW-30 turret. It offers automatic and semi-automatic operation modes and can fire five different types of ammunition, including ABM programmable projectiles. Modified 7.62mm UKM-2000 C machine gun coupled with the gun acts as the auxiliary weapon. Additionally, the turret has also been coupled with a dual spike LRATGM launcher. The armament can be loaded from the exterior side as well as from the interior of the vehicle. The fire control system provides high levels of ergonomics and accuracy. A single panel can be used to control all of the weapons. Hunter killer capacity has also been made available thanks to the independent commander's observation system. The ZSSW-30 turret is also expected to become a part of the Borsic IFB, a slightly modified variant would be used here. It could also, potentially, go on to the Redback IFB, considered as a complementary procurement, along with the Borsic vehicles, to accelerate the process in which the Polish army would gain relevant capabilities in the IFB department. The ZSSW-30 also offers some export potential. Before the decision on forming another two new divisions in the Polish army was announced, it had been estimated that more than 1,000 turrets would be procured 